What's up, YouTube? So, as you can see, I have not been posting any Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content uh, because I took a break from playing that game. And uh, maybe I'll return to it uh, when they improve the mechanics of the game, if if they ever if they do that. I saw something where they said they would be improving the uh, mechanics of the game or changing the mechanics of the game. Uh, if they do that and they make it so that the highest level of play watching the game is not uh, Super Counter Vanish War, right? Like, because that's kind of what it boils down to. Super Counter, Vanish War, fly up and down, right? That's kind of what the game boils down to. But anyway, I have gone back to playing a real fighting game, and um, that's Street Fighter Six. So I'm an Ed main in Street Fighter Six. Uh, I think I will be for the duration of this game being out, because this is the only character that has been very, very fun for me to play. It could also be because it's the only character that I play on Hitbox, uh, since I started playing since I started playing Ed and since I started playing on Hitbox in Tekken 8. So I decided to hop back on and start learning some more things about Ed and start learning more combos and more tactics and more things to do uh, because I want to set up to start playing ranked again, uh, which I almost am despising a little bit because like, uh, you know, rank can be a pain in the ass. Uh, but it's the best way for me to play a lot of different people and I guess learn how to play the game again, you know, and maybe maybe we can try to get to master. Uh, but first things first, we're going to try to get to diamond right now. My ed is plat four. Uh, I don't think it will be that hard to get to diamond one at this point in time. Uh, I, I play a lot of people that are like diamond one to diamond three uh, in casual, and I'll probably be doing that tonight on stream. And uh, if you want to watch, uh, I'll be live tonight and all this week and for the you know for the i guess for the foreseeable future i don't know about for this foreseeable future but uh <laughs> as as i'm as I'm, we're coming down out of the busy season for my job i think i'm able to retain enough energy from work to to get on and stream uh most nights so i'm gonna stream as much as i can as much as i do play uh street fighter 6 and and yeah so what i've been doing today is uh pretty much just kind of learning or this weekend i've been learning to do a couple of different combos that I did not know how to do before. Uh, start, you know, kind of training myself to use a crouching light kick as I'd never used it before. Uh, also changing my flow chart, changing the way I play so that I'm not super reliant on, um, so I'm not super reliant on uh, drive rush cancels from crouch medium punch because uh, that, I, that drains your drive meter so, heavily and doesn't really leave you a lot of options when you want to use ex moves to do combos and also i've been you know told by a friend of mine uh that if you're if you're using ex moves more than you're using drive rush cancel you'll have more meter because your meter will start to come back immediately after you do a combo that includes a ex move right whereas if you do drive rush cancels it takes a lot longer for your meter to start coming back after you've just spent half of it doing um just one drive wrench cancel that may not have uh required you to to do something like that right then on top of that um you know getting my anti airs to be be solid um i've also learned how to do cross cut dp uh it's not as hard as i thought it was going to be to learn but i still have to be able to do it in match i know how to do it uh in training mode it's pretty you know pretty simple to do it, especially on hitbox i guess but I don't think it would be that hard to do on arcade stick either it's just kind of you just have to be aware of when your opponent jumps over your head you walk forward a little bit and you have to circle back the other direction uh to down down forward uh when they jump over your head you just time it correctly um and you and your dp will come out uh it, it's actually pretty pretty simple just a lot of like uh upkeep with you know just with the gameplay and uh hopefully this will carry me into diamond fairly easily uh from plat four and then uh from there we have a long stretch of road to learn and uh <laughs> try to beat these people that are in diamond all the way to master so uh if 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 i do reach master i'll i'll be very happy with myself especially with a character that i uh, like and a character that i want to play uh, reaching master and that would be that would be great um, I'm reaching master extra late, but 
had I had I continued playing, maybe I would I'd be there already. So anyway, uh, that's that's about it. That's just kind of a kind of like a channel update. Um, and I just wanted to, to, to let you guys know. So, um, yeah, the FGC is back uh, in in Ion FGC, you know, so at least for now <laughs> until until other stuff and until other games uh start coming out but in the in the end i will still be playing this game and at some point i'm going to go back to tekken 8 and spruce up my tekken 8 game and then uh with uh may maybe 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 even try to, to spruce up my my grand blue uh grand blue versus grand blue fantasy versus uh uh rising uh rising rising grand blue fantasy versus rising uh gameplay because i do want to learn 2b and i hope she's i hope she's busted i hope she's busted in that game if she is great uh because that's who i want to play um but yeah uh, i will catch you guys later and uh, i hope to see you in the stream all right peace Round one.
Fight round. Fight. 